Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. We're going to be taking on Hibs at Easter Road just now before we've got a little bit of transfer action to be doing. We'll also be inviting uh, Aberdeen to Ibrooks and then obviously closing out the transfer window during this episode. So the game at uh, Easter, uh, Easter Road, pardon me, will be first. Beating them 10 times, we've lost 4 times to them and we've had 2 draws. Uh, Pudence unfortunately is going to be out with a twisted knee for this game but other than that everybody available. Uh, we're clearing the team selection so we can put a proper squad out after that rotational side played uh, Dunfermline East End Park. Uh, so that'll mean Ian Fulton returns to go at right back, Sam Byram. Uh, in the middle it will be Ivanaldo Fernandez and Murray Wallace. So we need to look for another centre back and also backup goalkeeper as I was rem reminded in the comments for the last episode. Uh, left back will be Borthwick Jackson. In the middle of the park, we will be looking at Cataldi and... I'm going to go with Andre Horta and Cataldi in the middle of the park. On the right-hand side, Jordan Houston will continue as the winger. Advanced playmaker will be Liam Henderson. And on the left-hand side... Um, we'll go with Haksabanovic on the left-hand side. And we will play Morelos up front. We're going to put the Brazilian on the bench. Maybe bring him on and see how he gets on. So, uh, Liam Kelly still has to be the goalkeeper on the bench just now while, uh, while we're still waiting for that backup keeper to come in. Uh, Christian Gamboa on the right-hand side of defence. Mitchell will be the left-back back up. McGinn and Bird Jonas get places on the bench, as does Shea Ojo and the young Brazilian. Nah, actually, I can't, you know, I can't justify McGinn and Bird Jonas both. It'll just be Jonas then and we will have Michael Halloran on the bench <clears throat> so to round up Fulton, Byron, Fernandez, Wallace, Borthwick, Jackson Cataldi, Horta, Houston, Henderson Haksabanovic and Morelos we're still trying to find uh, the best 11 with these new guys in the squad just now we've got a really deep squad uh, but it's not a bad problem to have especially since league looks fairly comfortable now uh, Teams such as ours should be winning this match without any problem at all. That motivates Cataldi and Ian Fulton. And right into the game, let's encourage them. I'm looking for good performances today from Andre Horta and also from Haksabanovic. You know, there's there's part of you that wants to play Shea Ojo because he's the new signing, over £6 million he's costing. And also part of you wanting to play Afif just because he's... Uh, a Rangers player, uh, you know, not like Haksabanovic who's on loan, but Haksabanovic has been playing pretty well recently, so he's in. But he does have to keep playing well, hold on to his space as Morelos advances on the goal, and it is 1 0 already. The assist from Liam Henderson. He's got Andre Horta breathing down his neck, kind of literally actually breathing down his neck since he's playing just in behind him. Uh, Henderson's position as the attacking midfielder, possibly under threat from Andre Horta, with uh, the two central midfield positions being hotly contested. You know, there's an argument you could move Horta forward and then get McGinn or Burjonas in there. As Henderson takes it down well, though, plays it to Borthwick Jackson. Let's make it two. Borthwick Jackson into Henderson. Past one, tries to slide it in. There's a bit of a challenge. Gray will knock it long. It is picked up by Long. He's got a lot of work to do, though, and Ivanaldo Fernandez wins it only as far as Gray, though, now. Out to the right hand side. On Yudima, there's a huge chance here if he can get it in. It's nicked by Cataldi. Lovely play, but Andre Horta's played in long, and it's a phenomenal save. But Ian Fulton to bail out Andre Horta. And Liam Henderson will be breathing a little sigh of relief there if Horta's going to do more things like that. Here's Hanlon with the throw to Crawford. Deflects away, cleared by Cataldi, but only as far as Ambrose. Out to Gray, come on. I don't like the way this match is kind of turning in their favour now. Come on, somebody pinch it. McGinnis now playing it forward to Onyedima. He's got some space, surrounded by three. Plays it into Murray, though. Dinks it forward. Andre Horta manages to block it, but it comes back to Murray. <sighs> Just gets it beyond Morelos to McHugh. Knocks it forward. Away by Byram though, Houston now, over the top for Morelos, he's in, come on, another composed finish, lovely first touch, sets himself, shoots, great save though by Woodman. You can definitely argue that should have been a goal. Andre Horta's corner will probably just be headed clear, you'd feel, yep, Onyedima gets it away as far as Cataldi. Andre Horta again. 
and goes across a wee by long, Cataldi now, pressure's still on, Houston takes a touch, Haksabanovic now, Hibs are doing well though, pushing his back, Wallace to Cataldi, Henderson, can we find a way through? No, McHugh manages to easily clear that one, and Hibs survive that bit of pressure. Hanlon again now, Hibs coming forward to presses, Crawford takes it down very nicely, moves into a bit of space, back to Hanlon, McGuinness has got acres in the middle of the park. Out to Onyadima, Haksabanovic presses though and wins it well. Borthwick Jackson, Horta moving it quickly to Henderson. Finds Morelos, come on, let's flood forward quickly. Morelos to Haksabanovic, a great ball, he's got a man arriving in the middle. Takes a touch, angles it in, McHugh cuts it out though. Come on, get a better ball in. Haksabanovic drills it, Cataldi's in acres, touch, shoots, oh, and hits the frame of the goal. And you have to wonder at this point, are we going to regret not converting any of these chances. Andre Horta to take the corner kick and it comes. Ambrose away. Henderson returns it. Woodman comes and claims. Still 1-0 Rangers. As we're coming up to the break, we do take a 1-0 lead into half time. Comfortable with that, happy with that. Cataldi's gonna have to come off sadly. Picked up a knock. I think I'm gonna bring on pff, gonna bring on Shea Ojo as well. Uh, pleased with how things are going. Uh, Cataldi is gonna come off for Barjonas. He'll be a deep line playmaker. Horta will be an advanced. Liam Henderson will be as well. And Shea Ojo will come on for Haksabanovic. Haxabanovich had a poor half there, he won't be getting to start the next game. Probably Shea Ojo will get a start. Houston forward to Henderson, that'll be Aberdeen at Ibrooks. Deflected away, Houston coming forward again into Henderson, has a drive but it's well wide. We need that second goal I think, because Hibs, you know, Hibs have got some quality going forward, they're not a, they're not a bad team so... I think we need that goal. Alan Campbell coming on now for Indy Boonen as Borthwick Jackson takes her throw just before the hour mark. Henderson, Borthwick Jackson dumps it in. Not a great ball. Woodman, one for the cameras. <sighs> Lacking a wee bit of quality up top recently. I've no battered anybody really. It was comfortable in the end over in Fermland, but Celtic, we had lots and lots of chances and it only ended up being 1 0. Now here it's 1, could be more. Morelos, can he turn provider? Into the path of Horta, Andre Horta back to Houston Square. They're queuing up. Oh, it's a bad decision by Jordan Houston. It's a poor game today, a rare poor game for Jordan Houston. Fulton will go long. <laughs> Nowhere near anyone. Hanlon heads it to Campbell. Now Murray. Oh, Byram dives in, doesn't he get it? Murray to Campbell. Losing it to Barjonas, thankfully. Henderson moves it quickly. Good ball to Morelos. Go and Sun run at them. Squares it. Barjonas has Ojo arriving. Lovely touch. Shea Ojo. 2 0. A lovely finish from Shea Ojo. First ever Rangers goal. Scores it here at Easter Road. And we're going to bring on the Brazilian Leandro Letiri for Morelos just now. I just I want to give him 25 minutes, see how he gets on off the bench was considering O'Halloran for Houston but I've decided we'll go with Leandro Latiri ah, Liam Henderson's got a knock he's going to have to see the game out though Hibs corner 10 minutes to go long nods are across Murray takes it down it's a pen and Shea Ojo after scoring what we thought would be the safety goal has given away a penalty it's Ian Fulton up against F.A. Ambrose and it's in. I thought he was going to save that there, actually, how close it was to him. Let's just try and contain now. As Hibs make it 2-1, we just need to make sure we don't do anything stupid. Let's just hold on to this. Latiri's free kick, driven in, goes through everybody. Andre Horta will get it, and Andre Horta will squeeze it in. And Latiri gets a rather dubious assist for that shall we say but what a finish from Andre Horta from the tightest of angles Woodman should probably save that for Hibernian but it is 3-1 and that should now be 
the result safe, the three points in the bag. And I believe that's a 16 point gap with Celtic having one in hand, of course. Hanlon heads it away, Byron picks it up. Come on, full time whistle ref. You're making Henderson suffer out there. Andre Horta takes a touch, and it is indeed full time at Easter Road. Rangers 3, Hibernian 1. And I'm going to passionately say we're pleased with them. They've done very, very well there. Liam Henderson, man of the match. Uh, Cataldi out two or three weeks. Henderson, only one to two days for him, thankfully. And David Bates has a bit of a howler as Falkirk hammer here. 4 0. It looks good now in terms of Falkirk staying up, but Ayr teetering a little bit. Zach Rudden with a goal and an assist as Dundee and to go down 4-2 to Aberdeen coincidentally the same scoreline actually happened up at Pataudry between the two sides in real life uh, recently in the cup and it does indeed give us a 16 point gap over Celtic but they're no longer second it's actually a 14 point gap back to Aberdeen Celtic host Hearts tomorrow a game they should probably win to move back closer to us but still still going to be quite a way off I think Let's see what happens and then we'll go shopping. Hamilton lose at home to St. Johnson, who seem to be doing the comeback trail. Celtic win 3 0 against Hearts. St. Johnson, they're up out the automatic relegation zone and air drop down. It's a damn shame for air. I don't want them to go down, but I think they probably just don't have enough quality to stay up. Uh, Dapo Mabudi playing poor for Hamilton there as they lose to St. Johnson. How's he coming along? Yeah, looks a decent player still, but he's got a lot of competition now to try and get in the squad. So, uh, we scouted Reese Oxford, who's definitely not going to be coming to us. So let's look at the days old marker there. Tom Cleverley, Morgan Sanson, none of them interesting. Kachinich, Lich, not really either. Conrad Lamer, not really either. So none of these guys were actually specifically uh, centre-backs we'd be looking to get. What about him? No, he's actually a striker. He looks a hell of a good striker, actually a wonder kid, but we don't want to bloat the squad. I've said this, actually, uh, in response to a comment in a previous episode. I'm worried about bloating the squad. I uh, had a habit, actually, in previous uh, in a previous football manager life of buying in too many players at the one time, you know, seeing all these wonder kids and snapping them all up uh, and then realising that I don't have room for them all and it was a waste of money. So we really don't want to do that. We want to focus on what we have just now, build the team slowly but surely. Uh, Nico Elvedi, who's on loan from Leverkusen at Inter Milan. I wouldn't mind signing him, actually. £6 million asking price. It's just a shame he's currently on loan at Inter. I would definitely have paid that for him. Uh, but not with that asking price in place. Who else do we... I mean, there's a lot of people here we've scouted. Nobody really coming out at a good price, I don't feel. What about in our league? Is there anyone in our league we're interested in? How are Aberdeen getting on? Who's playing at the back for them? Let's see. Anderson and O'Connor. How is this Anderson boy? Nah, he looks bang average. Uh, I don't really think they've got anything f for us. What about Hearts? Any decent players at Hearts? Uh, John Souter actually is an interesting one. I'll we'll have a scout report on him. While I'm remembering that, let's check out Scotland. So we can get any Scottish players in. Darren Fletcher's currently doing that role, but obviously he's not going to be not going to be playing for Rangers. Darren Fletcher, we need better than that. Um, Liam Palmer, Liam Cooper, Murray Wallace is up there actually. Grant Hanley's at Celtic, so we'll be getting him. What about down in the under twenty ones? Any wee prospect there, Max Woods at Dundee United. He does look quite the prospect, actually, young Max Woods. Let's get him scouted too. Um, anyone else? What about, who's this Johnny Mitchell guy? Mm, maybe, actually, we'll have a little scout on him too. Nobody else here, really. Ryan Porteous? Nah, not really. We'll have a wee scout, but I don't think he's going to make the grade we'll look down younger as well so we can see any wonder kids down here Andy Gilmore and Danny Finlayson are actually the players there well maybe you recall Andy Gilmore to be a backup we've not got any European competition to worry about do you know what that's actually what I'm going to do I'm going to use Andy Gilmore 
controversial, but I'm going to use Andy Gilmore. And for the backup goalkeeper, for the backup goalkeeper, I'm going to use Robbie McCrory. So that, that means our shopping is done. Unless any of those scout reports say any of those guys stand out and would be cheap, but I can't see it, you know. I'm, I think I think we go get, we just get our own boys back. Gilmore, uh, who's already in the senior squad, and we just move Robbie McCrory up to the senior squad, and he can be the backup. That's currently, we might sort something else out in summer, but that's what we're going to do just now. I don't want to bloat the team with incoming players in January. However... This guy is just too good. Alberto Chichiri at River Plate, available for 4.2 million. What I want to do is pay that. Uh, where are we? Minimum fee release of 4.2. However, why can I not loan him back? Damn it. All right, let's just go buy him. He's too good of a player to allow him to pass up. Win silverware next season. Yep, fine, no problem with that. Scott Anderson's away out on loan to Brecon. That's fine, good for him. Aberdeen looming tomorrow. Can we get this deal concluded? Key player. Ugh. Maybe he can play as a winger. 15 grand. Won't want a four year deal at least. Minimum fee release 18 and a half. Since we only paid four. Well, now let's try and get it out. He'll up his wage, but I want the rest. And there we go, a deal agreed with another wonder kid. Might have to start experimenting with formations that have more than one striker. Or maybe even have to sell someone. Let's look at the squad. What about, what about Ryan Jack? I mean... Do you know what? Let's try and sell Ryan Jack. Let's see what somebody will pay. He's worth 7.5 million. He's a good player. Uh, we'll see if we can sell him. We'll move Robbie McCrory onto the bench. And we'll move, where's Andy Gilmore away to? There he is, we'll put Andy Gilmore onto the bench instead of... Instead of who? Instead of... Uh, instead of Christian Gamboa, since Houston can come back and do the right-back role and all that, we can sort those positions out through rotation. Um, so the Aberdeen games today, let's see if MD bids for Ryan Jack and also see if we can conclude the deal for that. Che Cherry. I'm going to have to find a nickname to call him. I don't look forward to having to do that all the time. Where is he? It's his first name. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to call him Alberto when he comes in. So playing Aberdeen now, we've beaten them ten times had three draws against them and only actually lost twice that's a pretty good record actually uh, Cataldi will come all the way out allowing John McGinn to come in so we still have a box to box Akram Afif will be on the bench and Shea Ojo will actually start the game on the left uh, Liam Henderson unfortunately carrying a knock at the moment will come out Tim Gallagher can come into the squad but I'm going to bring Bird Jonas on and Andre Horta can I fill that role up there in the mid, the, the attacking midfield. In fact, yeah, he can just play the same role as uh, Liam Henderson does. So that will give us a team of Fulton, Byram, Fernandez, Wallace, Borthwick, Jackson, McGinber, Jonas, Houston, Horta, Ojo, and Morelos. Yeah, that's what we'll continue to do. I was considering O'Halloran um, on the left side with. Houston, eh, sorry, on the right side with Houston in behind them, but we'll just go with what we have at the moment. Aberdeen with this 4 2 3 1 with that uh, Scott Wright up front who's having a hell of a season for them. Assertively, um, pick up where you left off. Motivating Houston, Horta, Sheojo, and Cameron Borthwick Jackson. Let's dive right into this game, encourage them here at Ibrooks. We want a good, solid, confident win against Aberdeen. They are obviously chasing Celtic, so they will put in an effort today. Borthwick Jackson's free kick sails harmlessly over the bar. Reynolds now with the free kick. It doesn't look like it's going to be a dull one at least. Aberdeen coming forward now through Shinny. 
faced up by Houston, plays it into Tansy though, he's got more space than I'd like, rolls it to Incololo, Barjonas' challenge, Borthwick Jackson just keeps it away from the Aberdeen players, but Shinny picks it up, McLean gives it to Byram, McGinn now, into Andre Horta, decent touch, plays it forward, Shiojo, come on, that's a terrible pass, McLean cuts it out, and it's right, but McGinn with an exceptional challenge, come on Wallace, Bothwick Jackson for Jonas forward Ojo good play moves it quickly to Horta come on Ojo take off running Andre Horta past one coming out in the middle McGinn Houston easy finish it son Houston good save by the keeper Jonathan Bond there's a good bit of movement there uh, McGinn's corner will just be cleared I think yep Anthony O'Connor gets rid and Aberdeen survive another bit of pressure early on McGinn though well do they can McGinn get a good ball in cuts it back but Jonas hits a dig actually and it's a good save by Bond as well didn't think him would come after the keeper saved the first shot but it was a nice effort by Barjonas Horta's second delivery headed away again by O'Connor as far as McGinn this time McGinn loses it though to Nkololo forward to right Aberdeen get away with that hopefully yeah Wallace will just win that back good start though four shots they've yet to register good early pressure putting them under in the opening 10 minutes need that goal though well the game's certainly quieting down Arundel with the throw for Aberdeen McLean a good pass actually to right surrounded by blue shirts McLean gives it away to Andre Horta can he move it quickly for Morelos it's a good ball Morelos takes a nice touch holding off a defender forced wide has a shot oof and Bond manages to tip it round the post again and Aberdeen know their keeper big time for no being behind yet ball's cleared away Houston picks it up Crosses it, Morelos is in there, and it is 1-0. Jordan Houston with the assist, Alfredo Morelos scores. Nothing Jonathan Bond can do from that distance. Another corner now, Horta. And it goes, Ojo just over. Come on, get that second goal before half time. It's forward to right now. Let's be clear, I meant second goal for Rangers. Jones, forward for right, takes a good touch. Scott Wright gives it away right to Burjonas. Horta, good ball for Houston running forward. Go on, take him on. Jordan Houston faced up by one more, takes him on and beats him. Threads it in to begin, just square it. Begin squares it. Morelos. There's 2 0. Comfortable. This Rangers team are looking unbeatable at the moment. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Aberdeen kicking off now. Hopefully we can pinch this and hit them with a quick fire. Jones, forward to right. Let's just hope they don't score and get back in it. Right rolls it out. McLean. Come on, nick it by them. Go on. Forward quickly, McGinn. Horta now. Pings a pass to Morelos. It's a good ball. Horta's range of passing is amazing. Morelos out wide. Oh, Houston takes on his man, beats him into McGinn. Just wide of the post. Jordan Houston turning it on as a winger today. Shinny to McLean. Oof, oh, terrible pass. Horta picks it up. Out to Houston. But Jonas now. Horta again. McGinn, Horta, lovely play between the two of them pokes it forward to Houston, great pass again Houston takes him on now, full of confidence can he find the ball Morelos a bit isolated in there he cuts it back to Byram, Byram crosses it Morelos down to Andre Horta and it's a perfect finish three goals in three games for Andre Horta and it is 3 nothing before half time incredible and a great assist for Morelos as well, having the wherewithal to pick him out. And we're going to go in at half time, 3 nothing up against Aberdeen. And Aberdeen side, by the way, who've got their keeper to thank that it's only 3 0. 
So we're going to bring Tim Gallagher on for Andre Horta. We're going to give Andy Gilmore a run out for Ivanildo Fernandez. That's what we're going to go with so far. Burjonas back to Wallace. Borthwick Jackson now. Burjonas again. Forward to Shea Ojo. He's going to get 90 minutes today, Ojo. Assuming he doesn't get sent off for that yellow card there. I mean, he had a pretty bang average first half there. Only a 6.7. But he needs to get game time consistently playing in order to build that up. Young Dean Campbell coming on for Aberdeen there. It'll be interesting to take a look at him in a moment. If he's a player that they think is worthy of throwing in against us. Byram to Gallagher now. For Jonas. Hit it, son. Oof! It's a hell of a powerful effort, but just wide of the post. Um, Who will we bring on now? We'll bring on O'Halloran for Houston. Keep Michael O'Halloran involved. He's been a good servant. I think this could possibly be his last season, Michael O'Halloran. So I want to give him some game time. Um, give him another title, another champions medal. Gallagher, O'Halloran, Barjonas, O'Halloran's got the overlap from Byram. Can he find a cross? Morelos is on a hat trick. It's in. It's Morelos. Oh, bad touch. O'Halloran stands it up for McGinn. Sent to the goal. It's a poor header. But John McGinn, how did he find himself so free there? Poor defender in Aberdeen. Decent game from Andy Gilmore. Aberjonas in, Campbell away. McGinn back out to him. Now McGinn runs all the way outside himself. Fancies crossing it himself. Logan away easily. Berjonas against Nkololo. Berjonas wins it. Well done. Borthwick Jackson angles the ball in early. Oh, and there's a penalty. Morelos pushed by Anthony O'Connor and it's a penalty for a hat-trick for Morelos. Morelos to take the kick for four in the hat trick. Oh, it's in off Jonathan Bond. It's poor actually from the goalkeeper. Twenty six goals for the season for Morelos, and we're not even finished January yet. This is a kind of player he needs to turn into in reality. I think if Rangers are going to manage to get the kind of price tag that they must want for him, Ojo over the top for him. Can he get a fourth? He's in on goal. Goes down. Another penalty. Michael O'Halloran will get to take this one though. But Jonas only took the last because he was on the hat trick. So Halloran to make it 5 nothing. O'Halloran. Oh, and his penalty is even worse than Morelos. As Jonathan Bond manages to keep it out this time. And it will remain only the four goals to nil. Gilmore's played well actually. Gallagher poorly, unfortunately. Uh, Bond knocks it long. Could just bring that down, Borthwick Jackson. Lovely touch. Gives it away to Stevie May, though. Why did he react so slowly there, Borthwick Jackson? McLean now back outside to May. He's got a man in at the far post. Stands it up to the far post, and it is Scott Wright. <laughs> Aberdeen's best player by far gets in on the action with a goal today. 4 1. Hugely disappointing. It'll disappoint uh, Ian Fulton more than anybody else, but 4 1. Hell of a good result still. Going very, very well in the league. Passionately very happy, of course. Murray lost the obvious man of the match with that hat-trick. Gilmore is set to go up to £600 per week. Wow. How are we ever going to afford that? So, we're just going to see out the rest of the window now. Before we finish off this episode. Hopefully, we can get Ryan Jack moved out. I'd like to get a nice fee for him. He's worth seven and a half. Probably take about five, to be honest. He's a decent player, but he's way down the pecking order now. Let's see. No offers for Ryan Jack. Mm. Genoa and Udinese are interested. Why do they not bid then? Let's set the, the asking price. Let's try seven and a half. See if MD has any interest at that price. That's getting him for face value. That's not a bad deal, I would say. Tim Gallagher gets wage hike up to 1500 a week. That's pretty good wage for a player who's 
form at the moment. He's a good young prospect, but he's been disappointing in a lot of recent games. Just going to quickly see if any of these guys stand out. Well, there you go. Depo Mabudi gets a goal and plays pretty well. The goal actually is Hamilton won at Tynecastle. Good for them. Nobody else standing out. Milanese does okay. Aidan Wilson does pretty well. Uh, David Bates doing okay too. Air lose still to Dundee though. I think Air are doomed. They've given it a good go. They were, you know, they've stayed off the bottom for more than half the season pretty much. But I think they are going to finish up on the bottom in the end. I'm going to guess nobody no, nobody wants Ryan Jack. It's a shame Sporting Lisbon are in for our young wonder kid. Although they've agreed the deal. We're just waiting for a work permit which should be decided tomorrow. Probably won't get it then we'll have to appeal. Kelly hosts Celtic at Rugby Park. Celtic win 3 nothing. as you'd expect. Remain within the 13 points. Mabudi's playing at a position we don't really care as long as he's playing. Tim Gallagher doing well in training though. Oof, doing very well in training. Let's talk to him. Let's praise his training level. Training hasn't gone unnoticed. Just wanted to take the time to see how impressed I am. Thanks, I appreciate the support being shown. Good. Come on, work permit. I wouldn't mind getting the wee man out on loan. Uh, transfer deadlines today. We won't take part in the media nonsense. 3.7 million bid for Ryan Jack. Yeah, I suppose so. It's not a great fee. It's not a great fee. And he's a decent servant. But you know what? Let's just get him out. Let's make a part and comment. Good luck with the next step of your career. We're disappointed to lose you, but you've earned the chance. Make sure to give it your all. I've had a great time here, but I can't let the opportunity slip by. Thanks for agreeing to the transfer and giving me the chance to move on. Fine. Then he wasn't aware that he wanted to move, but do you know what? It's a decent bit of money. And um, we've got him out. A player who has one year left on his contract now. We let him go. 3.6 million is pretty good. And we get the 15.5k off the wage budget. Murray Wallace isn't happy we let him go, but he wasn't the only leader. He won't be missed on your right. See, they need to fix that. I need to patch that or something. That happens all the time. And it's a real annoyance. Work permit rejected. And we've appealed. And the decision for the appeal will be made to... He's been granted a conditional British work permit. Okie doke, in he comes. See, he's going to want to play all the time though as well. Let's send him on a language course, see the report. He's about the same level as Latiri. What about as a winger? He's not very good as a winger, but he might have to play some games there to get game time. I just couldn't pass him up. What a good player. Morelos is worried he's been signed to replace him. Competition for places is healthy. I want you to stake a claim for a regular place. He's happy with that. Can we get this wee guy out on loan in time? Somebody wants him as a key player, I'll let him go. Ditto actually for the young Brazilian. If anybody's willing to take them as a key player, I'm going to let them go. How much is he worth actually, young Alberto? 7.25. Loan. <clears throat> I think we'll have to experiment with different formations if we're not going to be able to loan any of these guys. Under kids now, Morelos is on fire and we can't kind of forget about Odson Edward who's a decent lad. And let's not kid ourselves, the two wonder kids will be moving on for big bucks at some future where there's Odson Edward and Morelos could be around for years and years to come. So well, we want to use the young lads, we want to develop them, we want to cash in, get some good money for them. 
might want to use them in the Champions League as well with their quality to help us advance we also have to be aware they're not going to be here forever right, we have a bid of some kind no offers for Latiri or Alberto but well, that is a damn shame uh, Dunfermline want Oli Cook fine Ollie, Ollie Cook looks a decent player actually not for our standard of course but could do a job somewhere I think he's way down the list fair enough I think it is almost transfer deadline time Ollie Cook is moving on to Dunfermline might as well get match reports and see how he gets on transfer deadline has passed we are the biggest spenders with a £23 million spend Cardoso going out Shea Ojo and Leandro Latiri coming in the major transfers we set a record high for spending which is actually nonsense because Rangers spent like 30 million or something like that net transfer spend on uh, Dick Advocat's first season so that is going to be the episode there we go two confident victory seven goals scored two conceded away at Hibs and at home to Aberdeen they're signing the new boy coming in making the decision that Robbie McCrory and Andy Gilmore will be the backup um backup goalkeeper and centre backs respectively rest of the season it's only domestic action so we don't have to worry about uh, whether those guys are quality enough for Europe or anything like that the league pretty much looks tied up as well uh, we are 13 points clear of Celtic with only 14 games left to play so pff, I pretty much think we're, we're good to start rotating some players in as long as we don't completely fall off a cliff next time out we're at home to Dundee United and then we go to, to the Falkirk Stadium take on Falkirk Bednarchuk obviously ineligible how do you get on this month in training he's still training pretty well they seem to think he's surplus to requirements I don't agree I think he looks like a good raw winger there kind of in the, in the O'Halloran mould let's compare him actually uh, with Michael O'Halloran on his stats so they're the same with crossing same dribbling Finishing just goes to O'Halloran. First touch just to O'Halloran. Uh, penalty taken doesn't matter. Passing goes to O'Halloran pretty strongly. Marking doesn't matter. Long throws doesn't matter. Long shots doesn't matter. Uh, technique is the same as O'Halloran. Uh, aggression goes to O'Halloran. Anticipation just to O'Halloran. Composure actually goes to Bednarchuk. Decisions and determination go to Bednarchuk. Everything else, work rate, etc. goes to O'Halloran. Uh, physically it goes to O'Halloran of course Bednarchuk can still improve over time he's only 22 years of age O'Halloran 30 completely in his peak uh, acceleration goes to O'Halloran agility actually by quite a distance by 3 points goes to Bednarchuk balance by 7 points though goes to O'Halloran uh, jumping matter do uh, doesn't matter fitness doesn't really matter pace goes to O'Halloran by 3 points stamina actually goes to Bednarchuk so I still think he's going to be a good enough player to come into the fold they think he's a potential two and a half star player uh, what is O'Halloran currently O'Halloran is currently a two and a half star player so definitely he's, he's going to be good enough to come in and do a job I think and can still develop but he won't be available obviously for Falkirk to play against us so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode it's been a good transfer window for us uh, some good feedback on uh, deciding to show the, the transfer window on, on screen rather than doing it off camera so possible look into continuing that in the future uh, if you've liked the episode please drop down below and leave a like on the video it really does help out the channel of course and you can subscribe to follow the series in the future mostly though as i always say thank you for watching the episode and i'll see you next time when we're taking on dundee united and we go away to falkirk <laughs>